Good morning, good morning. Curry mutton this morning for Sunday dinner. Starting a little bit late, you see the time. Uh, well, it doesn't really matter, but starting. So I'm, I made the curry already burn and a piece of celery and thyme, garlic. You know the work. So right now I'm just going to cover it up and let it steam. I'm going to show you in my cupboard. So those are the many seasoning that I would use. This is one of my favorite. When I use this, I don't have to use all of these stuff. It's coconut milk, etc. Uh, pasta and other stuff. Yeah. Mostly tin stuff, the meats and vegetables are in the fridge, broccoli and other stuff. So it's just to show you most of the things that I have are Jamaican. Back to check it out. can see it's getting the color. I don't want it to catch. The stove is, is, is a bit high. Yeah, most of my dish you normally see is curry and fried chicken, but I do fish. Fish, I do steak. Uh, some of the time, I mean, I'm just starting my YouTube channel, so most of the time I'll be cooking and not recording because you know, I have to have patience to do all of that. But for all you guys who view my channel, subscribers and so forth, I want to thank you. I know I have a lot of more, a lot more videos coming. I know at times I don't put the finishing touches like whenever whenever I'm sharing and look show you how, how the plate is and so forth how the after cook but I have all those pictures so I think one day I'm going to upload them oh when you can't get the stuff readily like from Jamaica, we tend to have to buy these stuff. So I'm gonna make gungu rice and peas. Grease, classic coconut milk, and pepper, onion, scallion, and not really cooking much rice, but I'm gonna eat vegetable. But I'm just gonna cook like Two cups of rice because I'm trying much to cut out the rice <clears throat> so I just eat vegetable and maybe two pieces of meat so I'm leaving it to simmer marinade so I know normally some people would pressure like these things but you find if, if you've been cooking for a while you know when to go out and when to, to like notice the meat because most of the time I don't have to pressure certain meat because it's tender it's, it's soft the, 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 the goat or the cow wasn't that tough so like probably at 15 to 20 minutes maybe half an hour the most and the meat would be so tender because you know it depends on what they feed the animal so once it's naturally like grass and so forth the, the, the animal will, the meat will be soft so as I said you guys thanks for watching my channel I'll continue to put my content I'm going to look after the peas now put it on the fire Put on a kettle 
to boil the water to add to the, the pot. And here is my peas. There you go. I know I might not run a fancy channel with the big editing and the promotion but this this is how all those youtubers started out started out from this small video and so forth i've always liked cooking and like to do something pertaining to cooking or fishing because i love fishing Me and my brothers would go deep sea fishing and so forth but being out deep in the waters and you can't really have your phone while the boat rocking and stuff so I would normally just take pictures of the fish that we caught so right now it's ready to add the water from the kettle so my videos are normally pause then do a couple of stuff and so forth it might not be perfect for a lot of person but I'm just trying. It, it will get better one day. God's willing. But thanks so much to everyone that, you know, just go there and watch the video and like it. Might not get a comment or two, but, you know. This is a rice, three cups. Water is added. See my pepper. I love my curry with that spice. Rice finish washing. So I'm gonna hand it. Oh, still some water in it, so I'm gonna get rid of the water. Ah, oh, man, this is just show. It's going in anyway. So I'm gonna pause again because I can't use one hand to do the cooking. Here we go. Rice is added. Gonna make my vegetable, cabbage. Gonna do some broccoli. As I said, I'm gonna eat this and uh, carrot shredded. So, yeah. I'm going to show you the finishing touches when I finish gratering and stuff. Ah, there goes the carrot. I'm going to wash and do the cabbage now. Just a little part. There you go. I'm just cooking for two, so I just made a small shreddy. There you go. drying out so I'm gonna soon be able to stir
stir it to get the peas all in it. I don't really like cooking in this type of pot, you know, because it tend to stick. When I cook in a different type of pots, like the thick one like this, for instance, it doesn't stick that much. So I have to be watching it. Even like now it's on low, I have to be watching it. Even though I'm not really finished cooking as yet, but the rice is almost done. And I just re-seasoned the pot so it's on the final stages of cooking. And I test the, the texture of the of the mutton really tender. So thank you guys for watching my channel. This is the first I'm actually showing my face on one of my blogs. Alright. Okay peeps, rice is finished cooking. Actually, it smelled like the pepper had burst while I was trying to get it out the way, so I just took it out the pot. So rice is complete and of course you see that it's a lot of rice even though I try to I don't know what's wrong with these hands whenever they wash the rice so I'm gonna head back to this part now so peeps it's finally finished 